guys, it's Roxy with Roxy's Broadway Breakdown. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things musical theater all the time. So today I'm here to talk about racy, sexy, seductive, passionate moments in musical theater, which you might not think about when you think about musical theater, but we have a few moments and I'm here to count them down. So what makes a racy, seductive, passionate moment? Is it the song? Is it the staging and choreography? Is it the costume, the performer? I say all of it, all of it goes into it. And uh, I think probably the king of racy and seductive and sexy is Bob Fosse. That's the first thing I think of when I think of these moments. And he had so many, so many shows and so many great choreography moments, but probably the one that embodies all of that the best is all that jazz. And um, when you think about it, when you think of the costumes, the choreography, um, I mean, it starts out people coming out in those sexy black costumes, black spandex, fishnet stockings, crop tops, and they're just slinking on stage. And the song, the vamping, and, uh, and then the choreography starts. I mean, it's just so classic. It's subtle yet sexy. And if you have the right Velma, yeah. That's a moment on stage. So then moving on to Phantom of the Opera. Now this is probably one of the most romanticized shows in all of musical theater history. And some people might think of the number Point of No Return where they're just getting very, you know, passionate with each other and they're just, no, 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 no. That, that's not where I go to. When I first saw this show, I, I mean, when he first appears in that mirror to her and he pulls her through and then he's taking her down to his lair and it's the gondola and the candelabras come up and there's mist and there's danger and intrigue and he has her under that spell and he's making her sing and yeah, I think the number Phantom of the Opera does it for me. I mean... You know the story. So he's a tragic character and he's not some psychopath who's taking her down to like some serial killer lair. Um, so I don't know. It's to me, I got chills when I watched it. And it's, it's a little bit of that mystery and she shouldn't go, but you want her to go. And I don't know. I don't know. I, to me, that's always the most sort of intriguing and seductive part of that show of like that's where they meet and it's mysterious so yeah i love that part of phantom um next on my list is i love this show i love this show every time i see it miss saigon it is one of my favorites and the role of chris come on they always put in the most handsome baritone to play Chris. I mean, everyone from Will Chase, who I love, to Patrick Wilson. And um, you can't beat Chris singing, Why God, Why? Um, I mean, I love that song from the show. And then you put in a handsome baritone singing, Why God, Why? To me, that's one of the steamiest moments in musical theater history. So yeah, I'm putting that on my list. Um, okay. You can't complete uh, a steamy list without a tango, a spicy tango. And from Moulin Rouge, Tango de Roxanne. So, yes, I mean, the movie was brilliant to pick a classic song, the police song, Roxanne, and then turn it into a tango. And so, yes, the show rightfully kept it. And then... Add on top of that, the character Christian, his jealousy and his, you know, angst, and you just mix that with this spicy tango. And yeah, you got a hot number. So, Tango de Roxanne, definitely on my list. And then, lastly, I, I'm just taking a veer off musical theater for a minute because this is my absolute most favorite, passionate, romantic moment um, on stage. Romeo and Juliet. I have watched this DVD so many times, it's, it's warped. 
I have to admit, in some places. But it's with the Italian prima ballerina, Alessandra Ferry, and that's, it's, she's pretty much synonymous with the role of Juliet. But the bedroom pas de deux she does. I am a puddle, a puddle on the floor after she does this number. And between her exquisite dancing and the just sheer drama on her face, I mean, I'm just like, okay, that's it. I'm done. That's the most romantic thing. So there you have it. Steamy jazz, mysterious opera, a handsome baritone, spicy tango, and romantic ballet. To me, those are the hot, seductive, steamy, jazzy moments in theater. All right, hope you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Check out all my other videos, and I'll see you in the next.